the same to the right. The translational hand controller test is nominal. I'm activating a BPS ishodne or initial. Everything is nominal. BPS ishodne is activated. Everything is nominal, so the hardware of Toru has been performed successfully. Copy. Let's go to page 22. Monitoring of the automatic rendezvous and docking. In work. Alexander. Alexander. Team here on the ground is uh, confirming that the fifth one of those short burns, uh, Impulse 5, is completed as planned now. And also the uh, test of the Toru system that the crew would use to bring in progress for docking uh, themselves if there was a problem with the automatic system uh, has also been tested and is ready if needed. Работа or operation is on, and AGC mode is on. I think it's better. Can you confirm? Yes, it's great, Alexander. Now you can deactivate Robota. I'm deactivating Robota. Работа or operation is deactivated. Okay, copy, Alexander. Heard the team there on the uh, the ground team going over the checklist with the crew on board the space station, making sure everything is uh, ready for the arrival of the Progress 56 vehicle, which is now beginning its final approach to the space station, having completed its fly around. Scheduled to dock to the piers docking compartment on the Russian end of the space station at 10.30 p.m. Central Time. We are expecting the eclipse. Uh, Copy, Moscow. Progress is now about 400 feet away from the space station and the Piers docking, comport, docking compartment and uh, speeding up a little bit again to get back uh, on target for that docking. It's uh, now about a mile and a half per hour. Engineer Alexander Skortsov reporting down to the team here on the ground. The progress moves in closer. About eight minutes away now from the scheduled 10.30 p.m. docking of the Progress 56 to the International Space Station. We are receiving the image on the ground, Alexander, now. Okay, copy. Alexander, do you have uh, a good lucid image from the progress? I have it better on the Mac and on the um, regular monitor, not so good. Maybe I should use AGC mode again. Okay, copy, Alexander. 
But I can see it very clearly on the mark. Mark, uh, you know, shows a very good picture. Actually, for Eclipse, I think, uh, you know, it will be better uh, on the, uh, the crosshairs. Uh, but the docking interface is very clearly seen. 150 meter, uh, feet to go now to the Piers docking compartment, and uh, about six and a half minutes left to the scheduled docking. The range is 45 meters. Uh, the readiness, inaudible. Copy. Hundred and fourteen feet now left to go before the progress reaches the pier's docking compartment. I'm ready to activate Rabota and uh, uh, breakout uh, allowed. Okay, it's a go in work, and I'm sending uh, the breakout allowed. Both commands have been sent. The AGS um, has been activated, and mm -hmm. now the image is better and clearer. Okay, copy. Yes, There is roll. Copy. You can see the view here from the Progress vehicle as it's moving in ever closer. Now about uh, 50 feet away from the space station and about two and a half minutes left to go until it's scheduled to reach the Piers docking compartment. And uh, you can see the crosshairs lining up in preparation for that docking.
16 feet left. Yes, We have contact. Copy. Contact. Congratulations, guys. And Progress 56 now uh, arrived at the International Space Station at 10.31 p.m. Central Time. The station and Progress were 225 uh, 259, rather, miles above the Pacific Ocean off the west coast of South America. Again, that was uh, 10.31 p.m. Central Time docking, 259 miles above the Pacific Ocean off the west coast of South America.